Hey guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. Okay, so it has begun our spending freeze. It's December 2nd and we are starting the freeze today because we decided that we had to take care of some things over the weekend. We wanted to get everything squared away because my husband had just gotten paid on Friday. So we just said, Monday, we'll start it. And I'm glad we did because over the weekend, we hit another snag. And it was just a small one, but it was something I had to work into the budget, but we made it work. We were preparing to put the Christmas tree up. I got all the decorations out. My husband went up to the attic and he pulled down the box with a Christmas tree in it. And then I realized we had not measured our ceilings in our new house to make sure the Christmas tree would fit. Our old house had 10 foot ceilings. So we had a nine foot Christmas tree. That was not going to work. We measured the ceiling height and we only have eight foot five inches. So a nine foot Christmas tree would not work. We looked around online. I had my parents looking around while they were shopping yesterday and they found this really nice tree that was beautiful. My mom sent me a picture, but then when I asked the price, she said it was $85 and I was willing to go up to $50 and they said they would make up the difference. But I thought, you know what? I bet I could find something for less that will work just fine. So my husband and I went to our local Dollar General and lo and behold, we were able to find a seven and a half foot pre-lit Christmas tree for $40 and it was the last one on the shelf. So we just decided to get it because the other tree that my parents found was not a pre-lit and I thought we'd still have to put lights on and I didn't even know if our, all of our lights still worked. So this was the best way to go. We brought it home. We didn't have to wait for my parents to bring a Christmas tree back for us. We were able to get it up and it looks beautiful. And I will insert a picture here for you. Now the reason we were able to work out purchasing a new Christmas tree was that I saved some money on our Christmas shopping. I was able to get all the Christmas shopping done by Saturday afternoon and most of it was purchased without even leaving my home. <laughs> I ordered stuff online. I took advantage of the pre Black Friday sales, the Black Friday sales and the extended Black Friday sales all online and a lot of them um, came with free shipping um, or very low shipping costs or I just opted to do the lowest cost shipping even if it took a little while because we still have some time before Christmas but all my Christmas shopping is done the only thing I have left to do is make my apple pear butter that I um, usually do every year for Christmas this is now I think year four or five that I've been doing it um, and I just make that to add in with the gifts for family and um, that's already been paid for so um, I just gotta wait for it to be delivered now, some of you who have followed us know that we just recently built a garage and um, it's for the most part finished. We're waiting till springtime to side it, but it's um, protected on the outside and it has a roof. However, we didn't put electrical in. There's no electricity run into it just yet. So this past week, my husband has been working on some things and they're preparing it for the electrical um, hookups and he went and purchased some items that he needed. Now he did this by doing some side work because he was off work for the week of Thanksgiving. Um, I think I mentioned that in a previous video that he would be off that week, so we were preparing for that. And um, he was able to do some work um, for someone local and was paid enough money that he was able to go get um, the stuff. So this wasn't gonna come out of his next paycheck. We didn't have to worry about that. And um, he's got everything now for that, except I think we still have to get some lights. But um, 
I might try to see if we can find those used. Uh, we'll, we'll work that out. Um, but it is kind of a necessity to have light in the garage. So that is something we're gonna have to spend money on. And then we still will need um, a garage door opener, but it does open by hand as of right now. And um, we, I think, are waiting on one more rebate from Menards that should cover the majority of the cost for that. Um, we may have to cover like $20 on top of that, I think. Uh, but it shouldn't be that bad. Um, and that's something that I can maybe save up my tips for um, or whatever. Whatever we got to do um, to get it. But if it has to wait until after December, I guess it's going to have to wait. And then we still have to put some gravel in front of the garage so that I can actually get my car up into it. But that gravel is being gifted to us by some family. Between the months of November and December, we have quite a few birthdays in our house. We just got through my two boys, my two younger boys, their birthdays. Uh, the youngest is in November, first week of November actually. And my 12 year old, he just turned 12 yesterday. So between their birthdays, right before Thanksgiving, we do one big party for the family to come over. And um, then they each separately get to have parties with their friends. And we do not start that until they turn 10. So my youngest, he just turned 10. So he got to have his first friend party. And it was quite a success. Um, we tried to plan way ahead like I will find things on clearance birthday stuff and I will buy it and I'll just stock up on it whenever I see it or like when our local Dollar General has clearance items marked 50% off that's when I go and stock up on my birthday stuff and then I just keep it in a stockpile and then I pull stuff out and my kids just kind of have to go with it <laughs> whatever theme they want if I have stuff for it or I can make stuff the stuff work fine and we haven't really had a problem uh my 10 year old wanted a Pokemon birthday which was fine I was able to use some food coloring and make the cake and do the frosting I got lucky and found a whole bag full of Pokeballs with little Pokemon in them at one of our local um kids resale shops I got a whole bag of these pokeballs I think there was about eight pokeballs in this bag for like four dollars and fifty cents and they had the pokemon in it so those made great little treats in, in the goodie bags so I mean excellent party favors and then we just did frozen pizzas and then activities so um, they all made their own pokeball which was the simplest thing cardstock an old coffee can lid that I drew circles on and just threw out some markers and crayons and stickers and anything I had in my uh, craft pile and they just they loved it so for this party coming up soon with my 12 year old I already um, clipped some coupons and we did our grocery shopping this week so I tried to include enough frozen pizza and um, if I have to, I can buy some extra drinks or just get some drink mix. It's not going to be a huge deal. I probably even have something in the cabinet we can use. And um, I have a cake mix. And I'll just ask my son if he wants to do cake or cupcakes. So either way, we have enough stuff. I can make frosting. I think I have actually an extra container of frosting if we need it. So like I said, I kind of stock up on things ahead of time so we have it. Now, during the time we were preparing for this spending freeze, we did hit some snags, but we also had some good things that happened. I received a raise at work, and um, it was very much needed. My boss, who happens to be my mother, she's kind of half my boss, and half not and um, I'll explain so I am self-employed as an esthetician and I rent a space in the family salon right now because I'm not buying into the business as of yet but I'm also employed as the salon manager so um, 
that gets tricky around tax time, but we make it work. So as a salon manager, I have received a raise. And I knew it probably wouldn't come until I was able to go back to work um, and work more hours after my surgery, my hip surgery. Um, so now that I'm able to work more hours and um, take on a little bit more workload at the salon, um, my mother decided that um, I deserved a raise. And it was a nice one. Um, enough that it'll put a little bit more money into our budget each month. And it'll kind of help with... Um, our groceries mostly uh, because my kids are getting bigger and wanting to eat more and we have a second dog now that is now eating more so that will definitely help and um, my business is picking up again uh, it kind of slowed down there for a little while and I thought it was going to stay slow but I think we're we're getting back where it needs to be I mentioned that my husband was out of work for the week of Thanksgiving and that he was able to do some side work um, for a couple days that week, which was very helpful because we needed to finish the stuff in the garage for him to have electricity uh, to be able to use the garage even more. And by him doing the side work and getting paid immediately, that meant he could get what he needed right away to finish the stuff in the garage and not have to wait till the next paycheck, which is going to be short anyway. So all in all, it, it worked all around. It's just work working. And, um, once he has the electricity done in the garage, he can actually do some more work in the garage to make some extra money. Um, as long as he doesn't have to work any overtime at work, which he has not been working overtime. And that also has put a damper on things, but with my raise that I just received, it we should be able to make up for it somewhat. And with this spending freeze this month, I'm hoping that we can be right on track and maybe even ahead by the new year. But with the garage getting to where my husband can use it more, he can work on small things. Um, he has a certificate in small engine repair, so he can work on machinery for people. He also knows how to repair tools, um, power tools, um, and air powered tools and, um, different things. So by having the garage done and the electricity in there, he can do a lot more work and make a little extra money. So that is where we are right now with this spending freeze. It just started, so we don't really know what's going to happen from here on out, but hopefully we can take whatever comes at us like we usually do. Um, nothing ever goes as planned around here, it seems. So I will update you in about a week or so as to how things are going and um, just, yeah, let you know what's going on with our life. So I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.